Nova Trophy, an official distributor of Kobe Sportswear. Here to help you with all of your jersey needs. Known for our trophies, but rising in the sports apparel world. Stop by Nova Trophy to get your team dressed in Kobe's best. Chris Morgan of International Scouting Services here on the Halifax waterfront is... We get a little closer to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League draft in Quebec City at the Video Toronto Centre coming up on Saturday. And uh, Chris, let's talk about the, well, Atlantic Canadians uh, outside Nova Scotia who uh, perhaps will hear their name called or will hear their name called on, on Saturday. And the, the top ranked one is out of New Brunswick, actually, a Fredericton, New Brunswick boy, ranked number three by Central. Played this past year with Shattuck St. Mary's and uh, Peter Reynolds. Yeah, we've, we've seen him for the last couple of years. Um, he's a smaller center, uh, really good offensive player. Uh, he's a playmaker first, I think, but he can score a little bit as well. But um, I would describe him basically as dynamic. He, he really is, uh, you know, this cerebral playmaker, can, can thread passes, uh, really good instincts around the net. Uh, he's going to be a really good... Quebec player, if he comes to the Quebec League, because there's talk that maybe he won't, and kids are playing away, they always have the chance to go to college as well. Top ranked Newfoundlander played last year, this past season with the Toronto Nationals, and that would be he'd be ranked number nine overall. That'd be Zach Dean. Yeah, Zach is uh, really he's developed his complete game over the last year or two. Uh, mainly a goal scorer. When we watched him in Bantam this year, he's he's kind of rounded his game into a bit of a playmaker can score as well but his, his game is all built on speed and, and playing at high speed and making plays at high speed he's a, a really good player another player uh, who i think has been rising correct me if i'm wrong but uh, played with newbridge this past year but is from the moncton area and that's uh, he's ranked number 10 evan Nas. and yeah, Nas, uh, he could go in the top 10 in the whole draft he's a really good mobile two-way defender Really good base, uh, balanced, really balanced skater with uh, good speed, and he he plays a very well-rounded game. But uh, there's offensive off ability there as well to uh, jump in and and uh, you know be an impact in the offensive game as well. Central has uh, St. John Vitos for Drew Elliott, ranked number 33, second round pick. Second round pick. That would be that would I would say that's probably where he's going to end up. Uh, he's a competitor. Uh, plays a, a game, a, you know, a fast game. He skates well. He's got good skills. He's more of a scorer, I think, than a playmaker. But uh, he's, a, well, I would call him a complimentary, you know, winger. Out of the Newbridge Academy program, although he is a New Brunswicker from Bay St. Anne, and he's ranked 36th overall. David Doucette. <laughs> David Doucette's a smaller um, uh, center. Plays the game at speed. Uh, he's more of a playmaker than a goal scorer. I see him as uh, a kid that can, you know, see the ice really well. Knows makes his teammates better around him, uh, and he plays the game with a lot of speed. He's, uh, he's a kid that's got good feet and uh, good edge work. Big rangy forward who uh, is ranked uh, 40, 46th over, uh, yeah, 40, 40th overall. Cole Huckins. Cole's a, a big center, two-way guy plays with compete on both ends of the ice but um, the thing I really like about his game is his, his playmaking ability he really he sees the ice well he's he's got really good patience with the puck he's able to pass the puck through seams a big knock on him right now a little bit is his skating he needs to pick that up a bit and get a little bit quicker and, uh, but there's a lot of upside in this game Ranked uh, 43rd overall, the, the second highest ranked in Newfoundlander, and they played together. He played with Zach Dean, uh, but Ryan Green. I like Ryan uh, a lot, actually. He's, uh, I, he's a center right now. He plays a uh, two-way game. Uh, when we saw him in band, he was probably more of a playmaker, than, but he was playing with Dean, so Dean was more of a scorer at that time. Now he's kind of rounded his game into a 200-foot game. I think he thinks the game really well. He's another one of those guys that has really good hockey sense. Um, his skating maybe took a little bit of a knock this year, but uh, I remember him in Bantam. I think it's going to be fine. I think he's going to be a, a good player. Central has the uh, Kensington Wild uh, defenseman Zach Bigger, 40, 44th overall. 
Yeah, bigger. He's a, I think he's actually going to probably go higher than that. Uh, he's, a, he's a kid that uh, plays a good two-way game, um, smart at both ends, competitive, but um, maybe the best asset he has is his hockey sense. He's another one of those kids that really thinks the game well, I think. And he's got good size and good mobility. Um, he kind of projects for me as a middle pairing in the queue. Another defenseman from the St. John's uh, uh, from uh, St. St. John's uh, Blizzard. East, excuse me, East Coast Blizzard, I believe. It's uh, yep. the the defenseman Connor Shortall. Shortall. He's kind of a, a little bit of an undersized uh, defenseman. Good mobility. Uh, I think another kid that thinks the game pretty well. He um, he can skate with the puck. Uh, good first pass. He needs to get a little bigger, a little stronger, but um, they're, they're all kids right now, and uh, we can expect that to, to happen. Shortall's ranked 57th by Central, 58th, just one one uh, notch down uh, from the Charlottetown uh, Pride program, Cam Squires. Uh, I think Cam is going to probably go a little higher than he's ranked as well. Uh, he's a good, another guy that plays a two-way game. Took a little bit of backseat, I think, to Bigger uh, at the Canada Winter Games, but when Bigger got hurt, he stood up and and really, I think, took over. Uh, he's a good two-way guy, but he's got some offense. I don't think he showed as much offense as that he actually has in his, in his toolbox, but I think he's going to be a good player. Another guy that looks as a middle, like a middle pairing in the queue. All right, Chris, well, we're anxious to see what happens on, on draft day. Thanks for this again. Okay, no problem, John. Anytime.